Hey people, what's going on? This is Godma, going to be bringing you a 1 vs 1 occasion on the map Desert Oasis. Right now we have myself, Godma, with the new handle of Wrapped, playing as the Orange Zerg in the top right corner. In the bottom left corner, respectively, we have Racist, playing as the Purple Terran. Now if you guys are wondering where Spliffy went, he's still around. I still have respect for him, uh, for sure, no question as to that, but uh, he's going to sit out for a little bit. Uh, I have not forgotten, however how he spearheaded my involvement with StarCraft 2 just overall, but yeah, he's still around. Uh, for the time being though, once again, he's going to sit out and Racist will act as my new 2 vs 2 partner. Also, I should say, if you guys are a little bit put off or you're questioning uh, the integrity or uh, profanity of the tag Racist, know that obviously it did pass Blizzard's uh, terms and terms of use and conditions, so... I suppose that tells us that this handle doesn't necessarily come with malicious intent. Anyway, uh, yeah, Arius is this cool guy. On the topic of him, he, he does not have a lot of experience with StarCraft 2. In fact, this is probably the second or third game he's uh, ever seen as far as StarCraft 2. But he does have experience with Brood War and StarCraft 1. He did play Protoss for the most part, but he, uh, he knows the game as far as the mechanics and just the... Uh, the overall workings of the StarCraft world. Where he is weak though is he has not seen all of the new content, just these two workers are not going to go at it, but he hasn't seen the higher tier content, he hasn't seen all of the units, and he's not uh, crystal clear as far as the new tech trees and just uh, yeah, the higher content. This drone is not going to be microed well enough and it's going to fall off that marine. Who's now rocking one kill? Prepping that refinery now from Racist. I'm getting my spawning pool at 14, I think it was around then. Continuing to just pump drones. He's now sending out actually a pair of marines, probably going to be headed to Thadzell Naga Watchtower. My overlord is now just going to reach uh, Racist's natural expansion, just making sure he's not trying anything too, too fancy over there. My first extractor is up, I need to start mining from that, however. Probably will be transferring those drones shortly. But uh, yep, yeah, Racist is getting that early engineering bay as he likes to do. This is probably just due to the fact that he uh, really has only played and won games with infantry as a Terran, so he's yeah, throwing down that second barracks now. Probably preferring to stay with tier 1 uh, content. I am setting up a sort of ramshackle perimeter with my overlords. Operating now with that one extractor, the second one is going up. I've also opted to drop this natural expansion fairly early at around, uh, I'd say, 15 supply or so. Probably a bit later. Orbital Command has finished, and there is a mule doing what it does best, harvesting from that mineral patch. Going to be uh, increasing the income greatly for racists. His income is is trumping the Zergs uh, slightly in this scenario. He's capping at about 660 minerals, uh, whereas I'm sitting at an average of about 500. I'm now getting those wings being the tat. Metabolic boost for the Zerglings, increasing the movement speed once that finishes. Also making a spine crawler probably at my natural expansion. I'm not just dropping that over here, I probably will walk it over afterwards. But I now have my first Zerglings in play. Um, getting a feel of the map, gonna catch this marine in transition and it's all grass. He doesn't stand too much of a chance. Yeah, down he goes. His remains baking in the desert sun. And now this squad of marines are going to try to avenge his death, see what they can get done out there. But yeah, we have that missile turret watching over this overall command. This needs to uh, liquidate some energy though. And now he's just pretty much using his marines to uh, to make sure that he is able to drop this command center. Now he will. 
these zerglings uh, are confronting these marines, but they've somehow the numbers to engage, yeah, now falling back with those. One zergling going down, trying to catch these two marines off guard, taking down one marine, and now threatening the life of this one, so loss is actually probably in my favor in that circumstance. He just, it seems that the Zerg player in this instance, it does not want to allow the, the Terran outside of the contain of his choke. And uh, as far as his mindset, he does not want to let my Zerglings inside to his natural expansion. So both players are comfortable to let that happen. I have an idle overlord here. Uh, I need to get some more units in play, though. Yeah, I am now dropping that tier 2 Hydralis Den. Transferring the spine crawl over. It's going to take a little bit of damage, I think, as it's not on creep. Nope, it will travel there unharmed as now it will begin rooting. Circuit's so congregating on the eastern end of the map. And right now, he's. Uh, Race has, is dropping a bunker for his marines. Uh, in this game, if I remember correctly, yeah, he does. He gets a handful of rapers, not really aware of the fact that they're. Uh, kind of a blade master if you guys follow the Warcraft 3 scene, but yeah, they are straight up harassing units, and I don't think Racist is aware of that in this game, as he ends up massing quite a few of them, but that remains to be seen. I have this hatchery going up at this northern part of the map. That will go undetected, though, by these marines, I think so, anyway. Just taking a look at Racist's view, he has actually caught my hatchery. These Zerglings are going to surround these marines, however, taking them down without too much trouble. And the watchtower belongs to the Zerg at this point. I'm not making very good use of these overlords, however. Uh, they have the ability to spawn creep now that my lair tech is up. And they're also just kind of clumping up in one location. They need to be fanning out and actually giving me scouting information. But I also have my Hydros streaming out into play. I uh, don't know where I stand as far as upgrades. I have that one carapace upgrade on all my units. So that is uh, giving the edge to me, no question. This hatchery is up, I need to get that producing something. 